afternoon, everyone. Oh my goodness, the 212 days have now finished. And automatically in your mind, you, you go, welcome to, <laughs> and you expect to do the 12 days again. Anyway, today it's our Sunday makes. We're back to our Sunday makes today. And I am absolutely loving this one. It is to make a card and you pop it into group and you are only allowed to use this digital kit you know the two that you get from Zern or you get from Paulette you cannot use anything else other than things like ribbon or glitter things like that no other digitals no other papers no other images just what you get in the two kits they are very, very cheap. They always are. They're, they're, they're about a dollar, something like that. Really, really cheap. So this is from Paulette. This is her bit. You have a card base and you have this long strip here that if you did an easel card, it would, you could use that as your stopper. You can cut it down. You can use it as decoration and you've got wording at the bottom. New moments, new memories. This is your year. I think you'll want that one. And January 2021. Then you get a backing page, which if you back it on the back of your card base, like this, you're going to get it two-sided. Or you can just make a card from this. Yeah, so you can just fold it like this and make a card. Okay. And then the images from our Paulette are these ones. Isn't she adorable for that cat? I love it. Absolutely love it. So these are the images from Paulette to make a card. And this is called the New York kit. Okay. And she tried very, very hard to make it very much around New York and the ball dropping and all that excitement to try and give us that back. Because obviously this year, most of the firework displays have all been cancelled um angelica was just telling me a little while ago that in germany they are going on full lockdown till well after christmas and i'm talking you know the major lockdown where the only things you can do is go to a supermarket or a chemist you know it's that lockdown and they're also on a curfew so and i know that's happening quite a lot of, lot of places so to bring that excitement back, I think would be so absolutely lovely. Now, the bits from Zern are these ones. Uh, you've got a lovely base here. These two card shapes. Beautiful bird with the envelope at the back. And like a tag type of one. And then over here, we've got another lovely base here pocket type of one and a couple of tag shaped ones and these gorgeous little kitties I squealed when I saw the kitties last time I only saw the image on my phone at first I hadn't actually gone onto the PC and I went kitties oh, me. Oh, cats he drives me round the twist but I still love him <laughs> oh dear anyway let me show you what I've made so far I'll do it one at a time it'll be easier Right, this little one, I've used the birdie on the front and I've decouplaged it, you know, I've popped it onto, you know, I've cut, fussy cut out the bird and popped him onto a bit of foam tape, you know, this stuff. And when you open it up, you get a pop-up card. You know how much I love pop-up cards, so I've been making pop-up cards. So, this is the pop-up card. I've used the image on the top and the bottom here because it just worked really really well this is the lovely journaling type card and then I've put new moments new memories in here um the only thing I've used other than the kit and foam tapes is my Nuvo glitter pen it's very similar to Wink of Stella it's a cre it's a clear one so I've put a little bit of sort of glitter here and then you probably won't be able to see it on camera very well but that's what I've done so that's my first card then my second one I've 
use this image here and again these are on foam pads to give it a little bit of dimension I've cut the blue strip down to size so it goes on the card and another pop-up card and this time it's those lovely little kitties so I've actually put glitter on the kitties a little bit this is all in glitter a little bit of glitter on here and this is the base from the kit and this is the card shape so that's made another little pop-up card so that's those two now they were printed full size but you take the tick off you know that little tick that tells you you know to fill the page you don't want to fill the page if you're doing it that side so I'm showing the inside first that's really clever now this time I've made just a normal card just a normal plain simple card so I put the images for Paulette on the front and that's the rest of that strip that I cut down and then I've just put ring in the new now this has been printed with the tick on fill the page on because I've printed it full and at the correct size so I've got two different sizes the images this image here is where you can do two to a page so I've messed around with how many and how big I've, I've printed it to, to get a different look on the cards so I've just popped that on there and that will be my insert for my card okay so that's number three now number four I want to be different I went more journal thinking junk journals more on on this one I've taken this image and I've um, popped it on as a pocket and I thought this would be lovely if you popped it into a journal itself now the base is printed at normal size and then this image here on the top is printed a bit bigger you know on the one where you fill the page and I've dropped it down I'm not sure whether you can see very well but I have dropped it down so it's got this shadow effect going on underneath it and then I made this with some of the paper from off of the really big card you know I've, you can see where I've chopped off the top so I've used this to, to back the card with and put the January 21 from Paulette's then I fussy cut our little lass out and popped her on here to make a little journaling card and I've put our wee laddie on here and these are printed at the two to a page size now there's also these gorgeous um, tickets and I've not actually done anything with them yet and I was trying to decide what I was going to do with them but I think I'm going to just ink them up and leave them in there because if this is going to a journaler and somebody wants to put it in their journal they can do something with this now they can decide how they want to play with this but inside again it's another pop-up and this time it's the two little kitties again and I've I've put contrasting bits on here this bit is from one base and this is from the other and there's plenty of glitter on here but I think those kitties are really gorgeous bless them so that's that one that's four that I've done and then the fifth one is this one um, I've put ring the new in and there is that glitter pen on it it's obviously it's gonna be very difficult to see on on screen and these have got the same on um, I don't know whether the light is catching that you can see it but that's what I've done there and I made one more pop-up card but this time it's a bit different these were printed at the bigger size so when you close it the top of her little ribbon was poking out of the card because the card was printed at the correct size you know the card base this bit so what I did was I printed one at a bigger size and matte and layered it and the matte and layer effect has actually given it a really lovely effect and then her little tufty on top fits inside and that is the one thing you have with pop-up cards is to look at your image it's not you don't just fold this one in half and I'll show you what I mean it'd be a lot easier to explain it with a card when you get your image I'm going to use the big one because it makes sense you don't measure here 
if you measure here that is not where she's going to be but obviously she'll fit in you are going to be putting card at the back here that's your pop-up element so say it's a centimeter then you're going to have to come forward a centimeter and you're just about going to fit her in if it's any bigger than that say you're going to do it an inch when you close this her little bit's going to be sticking out you know her ribbon's going to be sticking out the top so think about the size of image you're going to use when you actually attach it to the card how far are you going to make that bit of card there for your your little mechanism to make it pop up because you don't want her popping out the top you can send a card like that people probably wouldn't mind but it doesn't look so professional doesn't it it doesn't look quite right having a and you've got the surprise spoil haven't you they're not going to realize it's a pop-up card they, they realize it's a pop-up card before they even open it so i'm just going to show you how to do a pop-up card i have done a pop-up um journal card in the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas this week and i love doing that it, that they were brilliant absolutely brilliant um and i will share it to the group at some stage because i don't think i actually shared that one in but to make a pop-up card, what do you do? First of all, you need some card. And it doesn't matter what card it is, but something that you can bend. Now, this is a bit that's been cut off from when I did the kitties. I cut a little bit off. Now, if I fold this in half, because it, both pieces need to be exactly the same. So if I fold this in half first and cut it, then I know my pieces are going to be identical. So you've got your two pieces. You then fold this in half again, like this, and then you make a little tiny tab either side. So you make one tab there, and they really are tiny little tabs, you don't need very much, and another tab there, and these are the same. They are going to look exactly the same. So let me fold that one up really, really quickly. and a shout out to Paulette yes I just said squidged <laughs> she messaged me she said I actually had to look up that word <laughs> so that's your two mechanisms to get your mechanisms on there are several way that, ways that people do this you can do it like this whereby you hold the card and you glue it in like that and you just glue it in the other way is to bend this and you pop it into there and then you glue each bit down okay the idea is is to get that fold that you might not be able to see very clear that fold there in fact if i ink that up you'll probably be able to see it better wouldn't it won't you for demonstration purposes it'd be easier if there's a bit of stuff on there you should be able to see that fold better now that fold has got to fit inside the fold of your card. Now, I found the best and easiest way to do this is to do it this way. Get your two little tabbies and glue your tabs first. Like that. Then you pop it inside that bend, you know, your fold, and press it down. And this way is going to be in exactly the right place. And then what you do, where's my tie scissors, is you just pop that bit back out like that. And I found the, there's different ways of doing it. And I found this week that that is definitely the quickest and easiest way to do it. So let's get a little bit more glue on that. So just do it again right inside that fold and then press and then you pop something behind it and flick it back out and that's where your fold is for your card and then of course you'll find something that'll, that'll fit in really well I think we'll put our little lassie back in I think she's absolutely adorable let's see if I've got I'll even out here somewhere yeah I haven't got one of those well, I could actually I think I've got a kitty here couldn't I how to do it with a kitty that'd be different wouldn't it her and the kitty together so 
you then just glue this bit here. Now you do need to have your card stood up. It is a lot easier getting this on and not getting the bottom bent if you attach it while it's stood up. Because other what happens sometimes is when you glue it, if you do it when it's laid down, you think you're getting the bottom of this and sometimes you slightly go over and what happens is it bends. So you have the nice little bend across the bottom. Put the little kitty cat on there, shall we? Right. So that is the pop-up mechanism for the wee card. Just like that. Anyway, I will finish this card off later off camera. But yesterday I had the surprise of my life. I cannot tell you. And this morning it was it got even better. Paulette last night in group, in the TLC Creates group, um, you know, the printables, she said to me, uh, she, she tagged me and said, Deb wants to get to 600 subscribers. I'd said it in my video that day. I'd love to get 600 subscribers before Christmas. Well, once I got to 600, she then went for, for 700 and I was asleep through this. Okay, so obviously it's mainly all you guys over in America that have supported me. I, this morning, when I checked my phone, had to take a photo of my phone to put up big the number of subscribers because I could not believe the number that's there. It's about 745 now. I'm absolutely, well, over the moon, but totally blown away. I really am. So as a thank you, all the cards I've made doing this, I'm giving away in group, just in group. This is nothing to do with YouTube. This is nothing to do with anything else. They're going to be given away in group. So I'm going to put a post in group and then comment on the group, on the group photo, the photo that I put in. And then what I will do is I will get Paulette and Zern to pick the winners. They can, however they want to do it, they can do it. Whatever, which way they decide to do that is down to them. Um, I usually do the names in the hat and pick the name out of the hat. But there will be, I need to finish this one. So there will actually be six cards and all of them I will post out to you as, as a big thank you because I, I am still in shock. It is I just don't know how to say thank you enough. I really don't. But I am grateful to each and every one of you for the support and the love and everything. So if you're not in the group, please go over and join. It's Printables for Your Junk Journals with TLC. That's the full name. And I'll link it below. And please go and do the challenge. It's absolutely great fun. I'm loving it. You do not have to do a pop-up card. I did pop-up cards because I absolutely love doing pop-up cards. And... Look for the post because you could come in and win one of the cards. Love and blessings to all of you. Have an amazing Sunday. Tomorrow I'm going to show you how to do a flowish journal. Okay. See you all tomorrow, guys. Bye.